Hello, good afternoon. It's the deal for Zal here, market CFDs.com bringing you a review of the European markets for trading session the Monday, the 18th of December 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. And you can also download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so where are US markets going, basically? Uh, that's the question everybody wants to uh, know, especially with regards to the tax reform. Certainly seems to. Uh, uh, certainly optimism over tax reform given the fact that obviously it seems to have secured enough votes now uh, so again it certainly is interesting now speaking of several Sunday talk shows Treasury, Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin said he has no doubt that the COPS tax bill will make it to the desk of President Trump this week optimism that Republicans have the votes they need for passage built last week after two holdouts Senator Bob Corker of Tennessee and Marco Rubio of Florida pledged their support for the tax overhaul so it certainly seems that the markets are short squeezing on that news okay altogether However, there remains a slim 40 to 48 Senate Republican Majority Senate John McCain of Arizona is expected to miss the vote as he's returning to his home state for physical therapy and rehab linked to a brain tumour that was diagnosed over the summer. Investors are also looking out for a speech later Monday from Trump who is expected to announce a new national strategy according to media reports. So again, that's the, that's, that's the focus that we'll, uh, we'll be on. Uh, well, so that's the focus that the market's uh, attention will be on now in terms of Mr Trump's a negative speech later on today uh, again are signaling russia and china as potential competitors signaling a potential trade war going forward so again yes he's got enough votes or he looks like he's got enough votes with uh, regards to his uh, potential tax overhaul now is that all priced into the market that's the question okay with s p touching almost 2700 the, uh, the nasdaq at 6500 the question now is uh, is that good news baked into the market that's basically where we stand and we'll see if that's the case in my opinion certainly is that the market certainly have priced all that, well, that certainly has been priced in already, especially with regards to the Dow. If you look at the chart, the Dow Jones, let's just bring up the chart, the Dow. Okay, Dow Jones Industrial Average. We've had a rally here now from 21,000 up to 25,000. Uh, even if you go back slightly, even go back to May or June, I mean, you're looking at 20,000 up to 25,000. So the Dow's up 25%. So a lot of that tax cut certainly uh, seems to be priced in, okay? Especially with regards to the market it increases volume at a high a strong volume potential market so certainly is uh, highly 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 possible certainly a very high strong probability uh, for that as well so just bear that in mind let's see if this uh, market can sustain this potential gap up now we've had a gap up on the on the actual dow jones now i can see why oh, almost uh, almost 150 points here by the looks of things okay we're approaching 24,800 at the moment okay the next step obviously would be that psychological 25,000 level and that would certainly would uh, would mean a potential 20 percent increase since if we go back to um, uh, July, June, just before Mr. Trump obviously took office, probably even more. Okay, so very impressive, nevertheless. Okay, you have to respect that. Again, a lot of it's all tax cuts. Now, would that create jobs? I think not. Okay, uh, I think there was a uh, there was a um, a survey out with regards to the last potential tax cut uh, and uh, or the repatriation of the money itself, and the conclusion was that the actual money went towards share buybacks and um, potential. Uh, share buybacks and dividends okay so that doesn't create jobs okay all it does is increases the share prices for the actual company itself either way uh, what goes up must come down okay so again looking for a potential retrace here okay so again mr trump is going to focus on security issues also with regards to north korea as well and that obviously in and of itself is risk off uh, and is negative for the market so bear that in mind we have had mr williams obviously talking up rate hikes as well so again uh, a rate hike itself has been masked, masked to a large extent especially with the hawkish stance from the Fed uh, by tax cuts. Okay, so it certainly has been massaged uh, from that perspective. Now, whether or not that can sustain itself is another question altogether. Now, let's look at the technical picture now with regards to the market. So uh, Dow Jones, as you can see, is certainly making new highs. So very, very impressive there. Dow Transportation hasn't made a new high. Okay, so say what you want. Okay, the Dow 30 certainly seems to be euphoric, but the Dow Transports isn't showing that picture at all. And that and it signifies to you that uh, the uh, the actual um, tax cut itself is not actually going to spur growth. All it's doing is basically it's uh, it's certainly uh, obviously artificially inflating the uh, the actual share price or equity market value without actually doing anything at all for the underlying economic market itself. Okay, nevertheless, that's the status quo. You have to uh, obviously deal with what it is. Again, I was certainly bearish on Friday, and I've paid the price with being stopped out on my shorts this morning. So down a hundred points already this morning. So very very. Uh, hit hard let's just say that okay so again hard work now to recover for the remainder of the week in terms of the uh, nasdaq itself let's look at the nasdaq uh, again we had quite a prolific i mean this is one of the reasons why i went short on friday 
given the fact that we were up 70 points okay looking for an unfilled gap below to potentially even be retraced by at least 50 percent okay and that certainly didn't wasn't the case with the nasdaq hitting a new high altogether so again punish there for my trade there okay so as you can see here we broke higher and uh, we're touching that upper channel now around that 6515 zone okay so that upper channel certainly is a level that i'm happy to uh, potentially open shorts at as well so watching out for that upper channel okay so again watch out for the nasdaq semiconductors uh, biotechs really are the um, bellwether there let's just see exactly where they stand okay 60 minute chart still remains uh, underwater okay uh, we certainly seem to have bounced from that uh, potential support okay so uh, from my perspective it still remains weak with regards to the, uh, the semiconductors okay in terms of the biotechs as well let's look at the biotechs daily chart still remains weak as well so again certainly not showing uh, uh, overwhelming confidence for the uh, the nasdaq at present okay so certainly looking for weakness there in terms of the s p 500 again very very impressive one of the reasons why i went short late friday uh, again looking for a flush and a retracement going into the weekend especially given the fact that we were up almost uh, almost 30 handles i think at one time okay looking for at least a, a 50 percent retracement if not 25 percent retracement back down 25 70 25 60 and that wasn't the case at all with the nasdaq now hitting 26 90 so has been very very impressive this rally okay daily chart as you can see there certainly was struggling uh, bounced off that on the back of obviously rubio news being fake uh, and him agreeing to the actual uh, tax agreement deal or the potential tax um, reform okay and again that's obviously sent the uh, equity markets screaming higher so again have to respect that again have to respect that uh, new more highs on the s p uh, in terms of the weekly chart again weekly chart really is in no man's land okay we certainly seem to be uh, appreciating constantly uh, and this market certainly um, has to be respected from that perspective but again from my perspective i am certainly expecting uh, the good news now to be baked into the market and now looking for a potential reversal okay so that's basically where we stand there let's cross reference that with the um, uh, russell 2000 uh, russell 2000 60 minute chart isn't exactly making a higher high uh, again that's a warning sign okay with the russell not obviously not leading the way we're still making a potential here for a lower high on the russell even a double top and then obviously start to reverse so the dow and the s p 500 certainly are ahead of themselves and therefore one would expect them to retrace and, and certainly move back in so that's basically what i'm expecting there okay so uh, that's the summation really of us equities uh, again we can cross reference that with the usd jpy as you can see usd jpy certainly not making new highs uh, again not confirming the strength in us equities so again to a large extent it may well be due to light volume phenomenon obviously what was that, sunday night let's see when the uh, volume obviously uh, sets in Tr traders get to the desk let's see uh, how the market trades there so again from my perspective certainly overbought extremely overbought okay extremely extremely overbought looking for a potential uh, retracement here in terms of the vix we have the vix here as well we certainly did start to make a potential reversal on the vix and the vix has been butchered ever since i mean it certainly is struggling really to um to start to reverse as you can see here we're making new lows constantly on the vix okay 60 minute chart did show some sign of life okay towards the end of fri uh, friday uh, evening but that certainly has been crushed altogether as we can see okay so again let's see if we can uh, manage to uh, uh, retrace here again uh, will this uh, new high be sustained and will we continue the increased volume on friday led by the obviously uh, confirmation by rubio uh, does this have legs that's the question okay that's the question let's see what mr trump has to say in terms of security and uh, and obviously north korea as well and obviously potential trade war tour. let's see if that has an impact and that has an effect until then uh, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly visit trade singler to download the latest app goodbye now.